Welcome back, everyone, to our continued playthrough on Football Manager 23. Big showdown coming. We are in third place, but we're quite a bit behind. First place, Knott County, who has 32 points in 12 games. They're nine points clear of us. This could get us within six or drop us to 12 back. Uh, Going to be a tough ask. We've been just barely scraping by. Uh, I did just win a match against Oldham, one to nothing, but that was a 21st place team. So I feel like we may not be at the place yet where our team cohesion and everything is coming together enough uh, to where we're able to overcome a team like Knott's County, but we're going to do our best. Now, Jim O'Brien, who's one of our better midfielders, is not eligible for this match because he is a loanee from Knott's County, so he can't play against his own team. But we're going to do our best to see if we can't make something happen here. We're going to take the suggestions that have been made to us, especially playing defensively, um, just because it's going to be tough enough as it is. So uh, let's get our best team in there and see what we can do with this. This is going to be, you know, stranger things have happened. I don't expect us to win this match, but I will be super excited if we're able to pull it off. So far, not looking good with the uh, the stats. I mean, he's competing, completing 90% of his passes, dominating possession right now. It's almost 80% possession for Knott's County. But somehow we're managing not to give him too many chances, but that may be all about to change right here. Good defense by Hayden to clear it out. Come on, boys. Let's make something happen here. They are just having their way with us. Oh, no, come on, not a penalty. Ah, come on, Mark Howard. This is not the way I wanted to give up a goal. And we won't because he went right down the middle. <laughs> Beautiful. But they're still just dominating possession. We're going to have to hope to get really, really lucky on this one. If we could salvage a point out of this match, I'd be very, very happy with that. It's going to be a tough ask. Ugh. And there's their first goal just after the penalty kick. They got right back down there and scored it. Going to be a long day, I'm afraid. Three minutes later, and we're already back down on their half again. Just don't think we're at the place to be able to beat a Knott's County quite yet. I think our best chances are going to be to make the playoffs and hope that by that point our team is really gelling and, and on a nice winning streak and we'll be able to secure that second spot up into the football league. These guys are just toying with me right now. They're just moving the ball at will. Look at that. Oh, man. He got hesitant there or something. Are oh, they giving him another penalty? Come on. That was weak stuff. All right. Not a good day. All right, so we had a really good stretch in there for a while where uh, we didn't give up anything from the 31st minute penalty all the way up until he got a third goal in the 85th minute. So honestly, uh, I feel like you got to remember, most of this team has just been put together, right? So we've got to build cohesion. We've got to build chemistry. We've got to feel our way through all of this. And we're still sitting in a playoff spot after 13 games. So I feel like by the end of the season, we've got a really good chance of winning that playoff. So I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about a 3-0 loss to a dominant team like Knott's County. Okay, so since our loss to Knott's County, we have won another victory 1-0 over Barnett. And now we enter the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. And we're going to be taking on... Lemington, which is uh, in the tier below the National League. So 
we should be able to win that. That's a, definitely a match we ought to be able to win, make it to the next round of the FA Cup. So let's see how it goes. And we're off. So far, so good. Uh, possession's actually pretty even at the moment. Uh, and not much to show for it in the way of chances on either side, but we're only in the 12th minute. We are playing some of our uh, midfielders that haven't seen a lot of action. I thought this might be a good time to get them some action. Davies to Mullen. Great chance for a goal. And Mullen puts it home. He does not mess around. There's a reason why he is Super Paul Mullen. Right off the bat, we've got our first goal. I'm not entirely sure why the sound has disappeared. And just like that, in the 21st minute, Jack Jeb, who is one of those guys that we wanted to make sure we got into this match, get him some playing time, uh, puts one home. It comes off of the corner, and Jeb comes in and just zips it right past everybody. Fantastic second goal, and we are well on our way. Only .48 on the expected goals, but we've already got two. Two shots on target, two goals to show for it. So second half, if this continues, I might go ahead and pull some of my guys, uh, get some other guys some work in here, and make sure we hang on to be able to make the next round. Jordan Davies is just blowing by everybody like they're standing still. And now he's going to drop back. Oh, into a really bad pass. It's all right. We'll get it back. Ling's another guy we want to try and get some playing time for here today. And there's another advance to Mullen who's going to put it home. He does not miss, folks. But the beautiful assist from Jack Jeb. All right, well, we pulled a lot of our players and dropped into a defensive mode in the second half just so I could kind of save everyone's energy. Uh, we did give up a late goal in the 88th minute, but nothing of any concern, really. Uh, so we're going to see who we draw in the next round of this FA Cup. In the meantime, let's kind of look ahead at the schedule. Uh, so we've got... The first round proper of the FA Cup is going to be here in just a couple of weeks, but we've got Borum Wood, Halifax, and Altrincham coming up here. Let's see where they rank in things. None of them are top teams. I mean, Halifax is right there, but um, these are teams we should be beating. Well, this is unfortunate news. Jordan Tunnicliffe, who's been one of our rocks on defense, our center back is out for seven to eight weeks with a sprained knee ligament. Uh, so I feel like I was kind of thinking about maybe shopping for some more defensive help anyway. We have an offer in to Elliot Lee, who's a free agent who actually <laughs> played a pretty important role for Wrexham this season. Uh, but I'm just not seeing a lot in terms of defenders uh, that are available to us. Well, here's Paul Downing, uh, who we haven't really done a lot of knowledge on him. So... I feel like I'd rather go for somebody we have extensively scouted. Uh, maybe Daniel Boateng might be a good choice here. He's a no-nonsense fullback, but he looks like he can play the center back role uh, if needed. He is a free agent. Um, we can offer him a role as a fringe player, which is totally fine. I don't know why that's the most it's going to let us give him. Unless, you know what, I guess what we need to do is we probably need to go Make a budget adjustment in finance here. Give ourselves a little more wiggle room as far as what we can work with. Let's go ahead and go back to Botang now. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to need to offer him. I'm going to start pretty low, though. I hope it's not so low that he comes back and says, forget it. All right, $42,000. we will take that. Maybe I could have gone lower. I don't know. So we're into a match now against Altrigum. We had a disappointing uh, last-minute draw in our last match against Borum Wood. That was somebody we should have beaten. They're like 15th in the table, and they scored late in that game with just a couple of minutes to go to tie us. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit here, especially since we're hurting on defense some. Uh, and we're going to go back to our Route 1, 3-4-3, uh, three, three, and see if we have any better luck with scoring goals because... These one nothing matches just aren't going to cut it when teams get lucky and score a last-minute goal. 
So I just want to see what we can pull off here with Route 1. Our familiarity is actually still higher with that than it is with any of the other ones. Oh, that is not a good start. Altrincham get on the board right off the bat, two minutes in. Ugh. All right, not a good start. We don't need to see that goal again. And we're going to go to a attacking formation too here. We need to score goals. We need to start scoring some goals. Jordan Hugill up front for them. Is that Jordan Hugill? Man, how he's fallen. He used to play for West Brom. No, that's Joe Hugill. Okay, that makes more sense. This is going to drop us to fifth place if we can't hang on to this one. Although we would have a game in hand. All right, Howard gets us off. Come on. Just not doing a great job so far in possession. Not really giving ourselves chances. There we go. All right, let's get something going. And the route one doesn't seem to be working for us so far. They're just intercepting the ball too often. All right, Nelson, here you go. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Please don't be offside. It wasn't. Okay, we're good. That was nice. Nelson gets clear. You can see Mullen making the run. And he's all by himself, and he will not miss. Beautiful. Now we're talking. He's still ahead of us on expected goals, though. And here's a corner for them. Just like that, we gave it back. Okay. I'd hate to abandon this so soon, but... Route 1 just might not be working. All right, let's see what happens here, though. we still got time before halftime. Over to Bingham. Into Mullen. Ugh. Just outside the goal. Get it back, boys. Get it back. All right, Jeb. Nice tackle. Yeah, see, these are just not good passes. I feel like we're we're giving it away too easily in this formation. Don't give up another. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is so bad. All right, we're gonna go back to the four three three. This is so obviously not working. Nothing happened in the second half. That's where we ended up was with a three one final. That was a brutal. Brutal match, and I think it's pretty clear, at least with the uh, the folks that I have, that that tactic is a no-go. We're going to clear that one out. I'm actually going to clear out this one as well. Um, we're going to stick with our 4-3-3 wide custom tactic. It seems to be our best bet. They're low-scoring games when we do it, but at least we're winning. Okay, so uh, we have made a couple of signings. We did pick up Daniel Botang. Uh, he's not really in a place of match fitness yet, although neither are some of these other guys. Uh, he's actually showing up as not nearly as good as we scouted him to be, so he may not actually figure in the first team. But we did pick up Ben Tozer, who was, uh, along with Elliot Lee, both members of the Real Wrexham squad this week uh, or this year, and uh, both were still free agents. So I've picked them both up. I hope that's going to bring some strength to the squad. And we're going to see if we can get back on our winning ways here in this next match against FC Halifax. We've got to win this, and then we've got our next FA Cup round, uh, first round matchup. Uh, so we're going to see how these two games go before we wrap up this episode. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful back to our regular tactics. We've got some strength added to the squad in Tozer and Lee. And I'm hoping it's going to make a difference. Right now they're beating us on possession. Uh, we've had two shots, nothing on target, no corners. Pretty quiet first half so far. All right, Halifax are coming in with a corner. They actually uh, put a shot off the po off the crossbar, 
Uh, and it bounced out, so they got a corner out of the deal. But it looks like we're going to be able to clear ourselves out. We're going to remove the instruction to hit early crosses because those don't seem to be working for us. We do have seven shots, including two on target now, but still nothing to show for it. Need to try and get the ball back, though. Don't give these guys so many chances. Yeah, nothing going there. All right, let's see if we can't make a run here. Let's move the cursor out of the way. Come on, boys. There's Lee dropping back. Nice way to win that ball. We got Mullen making a run and nothing going. All right, Howard, let's get something started here. It's been a pretty even match so far, but we don't need even. We need domination. I'm going to get a little more positive in our attacking here. See if we can't make something happen. Boy, all right, you know, we've got, you know, we've got some tired guys out there. That doesn't bode well coming into an FA Cup match in just a couple of days. Oh, boy. We're in a bad stretch right now. Can't deny that. I mean, we had a good run earlier in the season where we won five out of six. But just hasn't been going so well since then. All right, Tozer. Come on, Davies. Get in there. Oh, what a beautiful goal by Enoch Asante. He had three guys on him in there. That was a pretty goal. In traffic. Watch this. There were guys everywhere around him. I didn't think he had a chance on that one. Davies with a perfect placement. Oh, and he, he had two right on him and a third real close. Beautiful. Boy, do we need that goal. We're still sitting fifth, though. We need to get another one. Do we have any more subs available? We've already subbed Mullen out. And that was Asante who came in for Mullen who got the goal. Uh, oh, now we're up to third. I think that's where this one's going to stay. Another point. Boy, I really, really wanted to win there. Oh, we got a last-minute chance here. Last chance for a goal. Look at Elliot Lee. Oh! I thought we had it. Oh. So close. Would have been a great way for him to make an impact right off the bat coming back in. This one's going to end in a draw. He didn't even kick it and they blew the whistle. All right. Well, we're hanging around in the, those playoff positions. But, boy, there's such a gap between Knotts County and the rest of us. And Chesterfield's going to be tough competition. Look at that. They've got a 24-goal differential. We're at minus two, and we're still in the playoff spots. But we're only three points up on eighth place. That's how close everything is in here. All right, here we go in the FA Cup. We are taking on Plymouth Argyle. They are a League One side. So, in theory, they should be significantly better than us. Uh, we'll see how that works out in practice for them. They're in 14th in League One, so significantly better than us. Uh, we're going to try a cautious 5-2-3 DM wide formation. See if that doesn't help us out a little bit. It seems to fit our existing players a little better. Uh, maybe it's a heck of a time to try a new formation, but nobody expects us to win this match anyway, so we're going to see what happens. Possession pretty even. Nobody's had a shot so far. We did get a corner. Got to watch. Jim O'Brien got a yellow card. Uh, they're going to have a shot here, though. That was too easy. His first goal of the season. Got beat on the header. Way too easy in the 19th minute. A lot of our guys are just not in good condition already, so we're going to have some trouble, I think. Paul Mullen had a shot blocked. 
He's had six shots already. Only one on target, though, and that was the one that went in. Pretty quiet first half otherwise. No, 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 no. Do not give up a goal in the last minute of extra time here. All right, and that's halftime. Not a great start. We do have a couple of yellow cards, which concerns me going into the second half. I do think we're going to have to get a little, little bit more aggressive, though. He's got nine shots to R2. All right, let's see what we can do. Tozer to Dinzai. Just having a hard time feeling our way through here. He's going to drop all the way back to the keeper. I'm going to reset things. There's Mullen making a run. Oh, man, these guys are just... Their talent level is just so much higher than mine. And you can see just from just the one-on-one -on -one battles that are happening. Ennis should have scored there. We're lucky he did not. Yeah, I see they get it right back. Right, we're going to have to be thinking about some subs here. I think Nelson's probably a good one for us to get in there. We're going to put him in for Mullen because Mullen's obviously tired. We need to save him for our, our season. Maybe he can get a goal before then, though. How did he not score there? Oh, he should have had a goal there. He should have had a goal. We've got some real tired players out there, though. Free kick in a dangerous area. I don't like how much space we're leaving open on the right side of the goal, but Howard makes the stop, and the defense comes through. Free kick. All right. We're still in this. Surprisingly, let's get more aggressive. Let's go attacking. Just can't get a goal. Can't get a goal. Come on, boys. We've got 10 minutes left. Nice. Yeah, nobody back there, but at least we cleared it out. Get it back. Get it back. Nice. There you go. All right. Let's reset from the back now. Tozer. Uh, we're giving up the ball too easily. Not taking good care of possession. That was too easy, too. All right. Right into the hands of Howard, though. We just can't. We've had four shots. They've had 22 shots, eight on target. Only four for us. Yeah. Let's face it. We are not ready to take on a League One side just yet. So we exit the FA Cup in the first round. But that's the way it goes. All right. Well, I've been working my way through some matches. We actually went on a pretty good run of unbeaten. Uh, I think five or six in a row unbeaten. Then we went up against the first place team and got destroyed four to one. Now we're in the FA Trophy, and in our first round match, we're still struggling to score goals. It is 0-0, zero, zero, and we are going to penalties against Boston United. So let's see what happens. Bingham's going to be up first here. Good start. Just need to keep making our penalty kicks. Get ourselves into the next round of the FA Trophy. Come on, Howard. Big stop. That was weak, dude. He just kind of fell over. I think he was thinking it was coming center. All right, Elliot Lee's up next. And he goes right. Keeper guessed wrong. Just need to get one stop. That was not it. All right, it's 2-2. Two to two. Jordan Davies up next. You'll notice no Paul Mullen. I believe he was subbed out already. Ooh, keeper guessed right, but it still goes in. Come on. We just need one stop. Munakandafa. Munakandafa. 3-3. Three, three. Who's going to be the one to choke? The 
home crowd goes nuts. It is four for us. Need a stop, Mark Howard. Come on, baby. He's going to go down the middle. <sighs> Guessed right, but still missed it. Four to four. Here we go. Need a stop. Need a stop and we're through. Come on, boys. Nixon's up. Can Mark Howard guess right this time? Or maybe we'll just get lucky and Nixon will shoot it over the top. That was an ugly, ugly flop right there, Howard. Jeez. You guys are killing me. Come on, Hayden. He guessed right, but we still got it. Come on, Howard, get a stop. Get us a stop. They do the whole dramatic walk up when you get to this point because you know that this is the chance to win or lose. We're going to a seventh kick. Got our one of our defenders up now in Tunnicliffe. Ooh, that was close. That was real close. Wow, he put it off the post. Oh, a couple inches and that could have gone another way. So here we go again. Round seven of the penalties. We might get through the whole lineup here. There it is. He got the stop. Mark Howard, baby, right into his hands. And we move on. So we'll take a look and see where we're at at this point now. Had to win the shootout. We got a match coming up against Yeovil Town, the 23rd ranked team in the National League at the moment. We are still sitting in a playoff spot right now, sitting fourth, but with a game in hand that could potentially move us back up to third place. Knotts County's in second. They're who we're going to probably have to deal with in order to get promotion, although they're going back and forth with Chesterfield right now. Well, that was a complete disaster. We just took on Yeovil, who were in the relegation zone, and they beat us 3-1. to one. Goals by Clark at 18 and 26, and Wakefield in the 60th minute. We could only manage a single goal by Paul Mullen. We're still sitting in the promotion zone, but everything's so tight. We're still just three points ahead of 8th eighth, eighth place York. Anything can happen right now. It is far from a sure thing. What I know, though, is we've got to get it together because at this point in the season, nearly halfway through the season, we should be doing better than we are. We just aren't scoring enough goals. So we're going to have to figure that out. I don't know if it's a change in tactic, if it's a change in personnel, but something's going to have to change. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below, and we'll be back again soon with another episode. Thanks for watching.